Hey hamsters, today we're spinning our wheels on something that can make the world run smoother. And maybe even a bit cheaper. Smart contracts. Think of it like this. Normally, hamsters would need a human to refill our food dish every time we ran out, right? But what if the wheel we run on was connected to an automatic feeder? The faster we run, the quicker the dish gets filled. And voila, no need to wait on anyone else. That's what a smart contract does. It gets rid of intermediaries, so transactions happen faster and with fewer fees. But what exactly is a smart contract and is it really smarter? Let's spin our wheel a little more and dig into smart contracts and where they came from. Because just like a well-oiled hamster wheel, smart contracts keep the whole crypto ecosystem running smoothly. So, backtracking a little bit, let's look at OG contracts. In contracts, we often rely on lawyers to write up the terms and make sure everything runs smoothly. If something goes wrong, you might need a judge and courtroom and all sorts of costly hoops to jump through. Or take the big financial deals like buying a house. Usually, you'd need an escrow, a trusted third party to hold the funds until both sides meet the conditions. But here is the catch. All these middle hamsters come with fees. Plus, you've got to trust them to play fair. That's a lot of extra steps just to get a simple deal done. For these reasons, smart contracts were introduced in action. At a very basic level, smart contracts are digital contracts stored on a blockchain. They are automatically executed when certain terms and conditions are met. In some cases, they can be used to automate a workflow, triggering the next action when certain conditions are met. To understand where this idea came from, let's roll back the wheel to 1994. It was in this year that a Mr. Nick Sabo, an American computer scientist, first proposed the idea of smart contracts. A few years later, in 1998, he even came up with a virtual currency called BitGold, a whole decade before Bitcoin rolled into town. Now some hamsters out there think Sabo might actually be the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, but he's denied it. Ah, it should have been me, not him! Sabo described smart contracts as computerized transaction protocols that automatically carry out the terms of a contract. His goal? To take things like point of sale, POS system we use today and push them into the digital world. And that's how the wheels started spinning for smart contracts. Smart contracts, as we know them now, are comprised of four key components, for the most part. State variables. This is like the data stored in your cozy hamster home. Everything the contract needs to remember. Functions. These are the tasks that the contract can do, like how fast we can spin our wheel or when we get a snack. Events. Think of these as messages coming in and out. Kind of like when someone rings the bell to let you know it's spinning time. Modifiers. Special rules for certain users, like making sure only the head hamster can unlock the treat box. Some contracts may come with extra bells and whistles, depending on their job. But for the most part, your average smart contract is built like this. However, not all hamster wheels, oops, hey, I mean blockchains, are built to run smart contracts. Some can, and some just can't spin that way. Blockchains like Ethereum are geared up for smart contracts, letting us do things like store and execute complex logic. But blockchains like Bitcoin's base layer? Not so much. No, 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 no! It's like having a solid hamster wheel, but it can't run the extra gadgets like treat dispensers. The difference? It all comes down to whether the blockchain can handle that extra arbitrary logic, meaning more advanced tasks beyond just simple transactions. So, some wheels are just made for more tricks? Although not all blockchains run smart contracts. There are many that do, and they do this despite having different builds. Public, private, hybrid. First, spinning into public blockchains, aka permissionless blockchains. These are decentralized open networks where no single hamster runs the show. Anyone can join and take part in the action. Public blockchains use fancy consensus mechanisms like proof of work, POW, or proof of stake, POS, to validate transactions 
and add new blocks to the chain. In this category, the most common blockchains you will find, the Tron smart contracts, are Ethereum, the first smart contract blockchain, Binance Smart Chain, BSC, and Polkadot. Of course, Ethereum has been one of the biggest players in the crypto space and as a pioneer does offer several compelling benefits worth calling out. Some examples. Ethereum is known for its security. Using smart contract features on Ethereum guarantee auditability and transparency since the network is decentralized in nature. Large and active developer community Ethereum is based on an open source ecosystem with lots of resources and documentation on how to use it. So getting started there is some support. Now let's roll into private blockchains, aka permissioned blockchains. These are more exclusive wheels. Only authorized hamsters can hop on. Usually run by a single entity, they're used for things like supply chain management, internal record keeping, or identity verification. The upside, private blockchains are super efficient and can scale up easily. But they don't have the same level of decentralization as public blockchains, so fewer hamsters get to spin the wheel. On the private side, one of the more popular chains is Hyperledger Fabric for running smart contracts. And finally, we have our hybrid options, which, as you might have guessed, are a combination of features between public and private blockchains. Right now, one of the leaders in this space for smart contracts is Avalanche. Since there are many options for smart contracts, the deciding factor often comes down to technical capabilities and scalability. This includes the question of what programming languages and tools does the blockchain in question support? Is project growth high? This will hopefully help you narrow it down. Okay, but when would you come across these contracts? I don't know. One example of when you might come across smart contracts is in insurance. Certain types like, first, insurance works great for smart contracts since payouts tied to a specific event. Imagine a farmer buys crop insurance based on weather data. See how much rain falls in a season at their location. With a smart contract, if the rainfall goes over the limit set in the policy, the payout happens automatically. No delays, no middle hamsters involved. This means quicker payouts for the user and less overhead. Then there is also second, real estate. Smart contracts are shaking up the way property ownership works, letting us record who owns what without all the extra hurdles. They also speed up transactions by cutting out the middle hamsters, lawyers, brokers, you name it, so sellers can handle things on their own. With smart contracts, a property sale can automatically be completed when certain conditions are met, like confirming payment. No more waiting around for intermediaries. Let's roll into third, healthcare where smart contracts are making a big impact. Smart contracts can make patient data management a breeze, giving authorized healthcare providers secure and instant access to medical records without the usual red tape. And when it comes to those complicated medical bills, hmm? smart contracts mm -hmm. can handle that too, automating the process to cut down on errors and stop fraud in its tracks. But that's not all! Smart contracts also help keep the pharmaceutical supply chain in check, tracking meds from the manufacturer all the way to the patient. This means fewer fig drugs and more confidence in the medicine you are getting. We hope you are feeling a bit smart after this intro into smart contracts. We've covered how they take out the middle hamsters, speed up transactions, and keep everything transparent and secure. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and remember, hamsters have power. One for all and all for one.